morning. My name is Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and we are a homeschool family. Today is going to today is going to be a day in life, but before we get into it, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Cry this Christmas morning. She wasn't very big, and she wasn't very fast, and she was very young for a sleigh. But deep inside her strong, sweet heart, Little Red had a big dream. How about a sleeping badger? An owl with a tr in a tree hole? That's not in the owl. Which one's in the tree hole? Good. Where do skunks like to sit during Christmas church service? In the front pew. What do you get the when- The front pew? <laughs> So pretty. Okay. Hey, great job, kiddo. I love it. I love then it says over here, color in the pictures of these Christmas sweaters. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, so pretty. Here you go. You do some. After Petunia left, I tried last year. Yeah, the purple? Huh? That one's blue. Blue? It's dark green, but this is this way. Okay. Yeah, you but are the colored, West sweetie. Is this color. I like it. It looks really good. And then the last little boy says, where are my boots? <laughs> it is now 9.30. We had a very late start to our morning. I did not sleep well. The kiddos all went to bed fairly later than normal. Um, just everything kind of got thrown off, but that kind of happens around the holidays, so I'm not too surprised at this point. But we finished our Christmas morning basket. That's how we start our day. Um, we've done our advent calendars, and now the kiddos are playing together. While they are doing that, I am assessing how far we are in in the curriculum. I have not been doing very good about um, marking off how, as we've been doing lessons, um, in my homeschool planning journal, I can link the video to that planner. It is by um, it is by School Nest, and I love using it to plan out what we're going to do each week. But it also has a spot to like mark your curriculum progress. And so for this upcoming December homeschool update, I thought it would be nice to show kind of like mid year how far we're in and everything. And I realized. I have not been doing a good job. So I'm just calculating that and then that'll also give me an idea of where we're at with needing to buy additional curriculum if we need to, when we'll need it, that sort of thing. So I'm just trying to make that plan now because I'm sure that you're the same way where around the holidays you start spending more money than usual for gifts and, and festivities. And so I'm just trying to think ahead of, you know, like planning wise, how much do I need to save by when uh, for each of the pieces that we have coming up in the future. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Wow, you knew which one was the right word? How did you know which one was the right word? I don't know. Must. Must. I was throwing a mustache somewhere in here. For M? Uh-huh. That would be pretty cool. Mustache. Ma, ma, must. Well, draw a mustache and draw it to the M. Mustache. Just draw a mustache. 
There you go. And then you can draw. Okay. I need to color it the white color. Ma, ma, mustache. Is picture day today? That was one tired baby. <laughs> it is 12.15 and I just put the baby down for a nap. Little man has decided instead of watching TV, he wants to have some tablet time. So he's doing that now that we have finished our lunch. During lunch, we watched a video about Theodore Roosevelt. And then I read to the kids about the planet Earth from this one book on Earth. And also I read about Earth from the DK Find Out Solar System. Then I read from Domain 6 of Cornellage Native Americans, all about the Lakota Sioux. Um, it was a historical fiction story about a young boy who was finally old enough to join his family on a buffalo hunt, which is exciting. And then I read Biscuit's Day at the Farm. So we read our books during lunch. I heated us up a frozen pizza to have. And before that, we did letter and number time. So my son got to do a Christmas number time activity. And then we've been continuing to work through treasure hunt reading um, for our reading. I know I should use this time extremely productively. I've got one child occupied for a little bit of tablet time, one taking a nap. But sometimes when everything is still like this, I take a moment instead to just drink some coffee. Not for terribly long, but sometimes I just need a second to just sit down and drink some coffee and just like, and then continue on. Anybody else like that? Is it just me? 